27 storm track weather with chief meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Well, plenty of sunshine throughout the day, keeping temperatures even at this hour warmer than where they were yesterday at the same time, though. Lone Rock's actually a little bit cooler right now. Watertown, Janesville, the same story. We are still one degree warmer here in Madison than we were yesterday at the same time. The disparity there with some of us being a little bit warmer, others not so warm. The difference between a few light clouds yesterday evening at this time and crystal clear skies tonight. We are seeing a few of those clouds move back in over the Mississippi Valley, but here at home, many of us staying dry and it was all that sunshine earlier in the, in, in the day today that allowed temperatures to soar as high as those mid to low 50s. 53 in Baraboo, Watertown 52, Middleton 54. We topped out at 52 degrees in Madison earlier on this afternoon. Right now, absolutely stunning overlooking the west side of Madison. You can see the belt line there quite active on the left side of your screen. That beautiful horizon with temperatures just as nice. 43 degrees. Our average high temperature this time of the year is about 40 or 39. So even at this hour, that sun has set temperature still above average for this time of the year. Winds from the northeast about nine miles per hour still doing their job as well, keeping conditions comfortable, but not allowing that temperature to soar all the way back up into the 60s, though we could see the 60s later on this extended forecast. Make the most of this evening. It is going to be pleasant. 43 degrees at 7, 38 by 8, 37 degrees by 9 o'clock. We'll pick up that future track by 10 o'clock. Mainly clear skies for the majority of us at that time, but notice that cloud cover scoot back in. This is all thanks to our next weather maker, a core of low pressure that's going to swing right through parts of Missouri, central and northern Illinois, and eventually up into Michigan. What that will do for us is bring chances of rainfall and eventually the potential for wintry mixture, though not quite yet. We're still looking at cloudy, dry conditions for our Thursday. So waking up early Thursday morning with temperatures at or below the freezing mark. 31 in Monroe, 34 degrees. Watertown will wake up to morning low temperature right around 31 degrees in Madison early on Thursday morning. Where does that leave us the rest of the morning on Thursday? Well, here's the deal. We're still going to be mostly cloudy. Couple peaks of sunshine here and there a possibility. 33 at 7 by 8 o'clock, 36 degrees. Make sure that coffee is strong. Not a ton of sunlight tomorrow. We're going to see mostly cloudy to overcast skies essentially all day long, but even with the added cloud cover, temperatures are still expected to be on the rise. We're looking back up into the upper 40s and low 50s across the region tomorrow. 51 degrees on Thursday, winds from the southeast 5 to 15 miles per hour. By Friday, a different story begins to unfold. 43 your high temperature that day, winds from the northeast 5 to 15 miles per hour, kind of a gross day. We'll pick that future track back up 10 o'clock in the evening on Thursday. We're dry at that time. But there's your rainfall again that low passing just to the south of us, bringing sustained heavy rain to parts of the region through the morning, the late afternoon by the early evening. It's possible we could see periods of wintry mixture. Now notice temperatures at the surface still in the upper 30s and low 40s at that time. Overnight low temperatures will only fall as low as about 33 or 34. So I'm not expecting much in the way of accumulation that will stick. What we will see plenty of is rain. Check this out. Many of us dealing with as much as a half an inch, more than an inch of rainfall throughout Friday alone. It is going to be a damp one, so have the umbrellas ready to go on Friday. Fortunately, you can kind of stow those umbrellas away for Saturday, Sunday, the weekend ahead looking quite pleasant. Temperatures in those mid 40 Saturday, Sunday 50. And remember, we spring ahead. Oh, that's right. We got to change the clocks. Spring ahead an hour, get those later sunsets, but we lose just one hour of sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll take okay. it. Yeah. I like I like having the extra hour of sun and yeah. daylight. So it is going to be nice. I love having that sunset closer to around seven or eight o'clock rather than six. Yeah, like yeah. that. All right, thank you, Cam.